Does a dented tweeter dome matter? This question comes from David in England, where I guess, was it Prince Harry just got married? Okay, I don't keep up with the royals, but I think I heard something about that on the radio. Um, what is the impact of and the right approach to handle a dented metal tweeter dome in a speaker? Even if you get lucky and it springs back out, it seems there's often still faint markings on the dome. Many of us have kids and pets, and occasionally there is a mishap. Yep. <laughs> there seems to be a good amount of contradictory information out there, and I'd really appreciate your thoughts. Thank you, Dave. Um, gosh, over the years, you can imagine that I've had systems. Uh, it's been off limit to my four boys. You know, that's dad's stereo, and you don't go near that, and you certainly don't put your fingers in it. But that said, they are children, and uh, a number of my things never made it. You know, all four boys standing up like that and like, all right, who did it? Oh, 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 it must have been the dog. Yeah, well, the dog can't reach up that high, but I... <laughs> those rascals. Anyway, we've all been through the dead to tweeter thing. And, uh, you know, one of the reasons I, well, not one of the reasons, I went over to Ribbon Loudspeakers for, for a long time and, and they don't have the problem of the collapsed dome or dust cap. So, Here's the quick answer to that. No, it doesn't matter. As long as the tweeter itself hasn't been damaged, it really doesn't matter. So if we were to take this little, this is a soft dome. There are hard domes, which are, are metal domes, and there are soft domes. And in my experience, as long as you haven't damaged anything, if it's just dented in and crinkled a little bit, it makes no difference, and none that I can hear, in terms of sound quality. And if you look at the way a piston works, e even if that dome, you know, is, 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 as long as you've kind of pulled it back out, I mean, if it's collapsed, yes, that's going to, but that slight deformation that you see over there, I don't think it's going to make any difference at all because the, the wavelength you're talking about up there is very, very high. But I, I do want to show you, because it, it, it's kind of unsightly, so I do want to show you a trick. If now, a lot of you probably know this, but if you have a tweeter, a dented tweeter, here's what you can do. You can take a piece of tape, and I don't recommend scotch tape, but it's all we had here, and, but some very powerful tape, um, like what's really strong, duct tape maybe? Um, and if you fold it over very carefully so it's, it's all sticky, and you place that onto the dome, and get it on there so you don't damage it further, you can pull it off like that and a lot of times get that collapsed dome to pop back out after the child has been sufficiently whipped to death. No. <laughs> Let's get the record. I do not believe in whipping children. Don't hit, don't hit your children. Please don't hit your children. People treat their dogs better than they do their children. It's just, you know, it's part of being, part of being a kid. So that's a good way to fix the tweeter. I, if, you get it, if you get it to pop back out, I, I really don't think it's an issue other than an eyesore, and I think you're going to be fine. Great question, and thank you for asking it. I'll talk to you later. Bye.